Okay, Piplup, you are joining me. Hello, everyone, Android Man. Welcome back to Pokemon Ranger Shadow of Almia. Last time, we saved the Whalmer from Team Dim Sun and said goodbye to Mr. Kincaid. And now this time, we're heading off to Hippowdon Temple and try to get the yellow gem as Keith instructed. So obviously, the best idea is to get ambushed by Skorupis. I do believe the Pharaohs do attack you. And according to this, we need a Pokemon with cut one. Do Skorupis have cut? Unfortunately, I do not know. I don't, I don't even know if Pharaohs even have it. Uh, let's see here. Let's do a little more exploration. I'm somewhat convinced that Pharaoh might have it. Okay, you just became annoying, Pharaoh. Okay, Pharaoh. Ooh, that was close. Okay, come on, Pharaoh. There we go. If you don't have cut one, or at least some form of cut, I'll be disappointed. Pharaoh! It flies around at high speed and, ch and charges to attack. It is part of the flying group. Pokesis flying. Field move, cut three. Okay, so we can use Pharaoh to cut any of these vines, but we're just going to go straight forward. And just get this vine cut. Thank you, Pharaoh. Of course, the rest of this area is more exploration than anything else, so... Once we do... There are going to be quests later on, so we will be exploring this area a little more better. Right now, we have a sandstorm of sorts. What kind of sandstorm? Well, the one that you can't really see much of. You're going on, on an exploration tour of Hippowdon Temple 2? Which travel agency did you use? I used the Whale Lord Travel Agency. The tour I chose ends right here. I can't go any farther. If I could, I'd like to make I like to explore inside the temple too. I can't get inside unless I get a Hippowdon to help me though. In spite of the way I dress, I am not the reckless adventurer type. I'm good with ending my tour here. What are you going to do now? I suppose you could try to get that hip out on to help you, but it seems it to be in a foul mood. You better be cautious around it. Well, enjoy your explorations. So it does tell you about a hip out on being nearby because. You can't get through unless you get a hip out on. So, let's work on doing... Oh, wow, they leave a ma Magneton out here. So, they do t tell you to be careful. It is a little bit hard to navigate around here. Those tornadoes will hurt you. And all we need to do is find a hip out on. Wherever one could be. That's dope. Do... Duo, get over here! I need you, Duo. Now, I don't believe the tornadoes will hurt Doduo. I haven't seen any Pokemon being able to hurt us since we've been able to ride a Doduo, but it's been a long time since we rode one. But it should be able to help us navigate these sands. Just keep in mind, we can't use Magneton anymore. But we can now go through these sands a little more easier and figure out where the heck Hippowdon is. Found ya! Oh, wow. Okay, so Hippowdon likes to travel. And we have to figure out where the heck... Okay, yeah, you can get hurt, but if we just stay inside the tornado and... Oh, this is going to take a while. Okay, so we first have to figure out where Hippowdon is. Okay, come on. 
Yep, we're not getting... Okay, dodge to tornadoes, and... There we go! Really? I'm gonna get damaged to a point where I might not be able to get him. Okay, it looks like the tornadoes are going that ouch way. And of course, hit pound hunt is just going to be like that, so I'm going to cut to a point where I get to hit pound on. Like that! <laughs> okay, so you're also going to be a problem with us trying to capture you, aren't you? Sand puddles! If you have a dark type Pokemon, use it! Which... We only have Magnetons. Also, we cannot use Doduos as we're riding it. Oh, whoa! Trying to fake me out there, aren't you, Hippowdon? Okay, so this is where I'm gonna just say this. Go, Piplup! I know it's already slow, but we need something to at least do constant damage. Which, that actually does help us out a lot. Especially having like 20, 30 seconds of this. That is actually very nice to have. I don't like how sometimes the bubbles don't go through because I don't hold it long enough. Shield on is a lot better with this. But it does help us in a point where we need to. And remember, Pokemon skills do not... Well, Poke Assist do not help you with capturing the Pokemon. Hippowdon! It triggers a tremor as it opens fissures in the ground. It also spits hunks of sand. It's part of the ground group. Poke Assist, ground. Area move, sand fill. And it's gonna be the only Pokemon with sand fill. Okay, so we just go up here, and I'm sorry, we're gonna have to say goodbye to you, Doduo. Thank you, Doduo! Heal up if you actually took more damage than I did. I'm not gonna heal up yet. I have three Magnetons to spare, but... I'm not gonna waste them yet. Thanks, Hippowdon! Now, to my knowledge... Hippowdon is the reason why that sand stream is actually happening. So the moment you get back outside, that sand stream will be happening again. Mission, get the yellow gem. Vice mail, vice mail! I'm Keith, I said I'm said. Come right away, here did I not? So, why are you not coming here yet? You be nicer to your friend, me. I'm really getting annoyed with these fights. Oh, careful with these golems. They like to tackle. That's a, what the, Weasel? What are you, oh wait, that's Keith's partner Pokemon. Okay, let's find out what Keith's partner Pokemon is doing without him. Careful with this hallway, you got Ariados and Bronzors. They're actually very easy to... They're actually very easy to miss. So we got two ways. We could go down or up. I'm gonna go... You are giving me magnetons on a platter, aren't you? Okay, so... I don't like that. And the other way leads me to where? I don't like that either. Okay, so... What we have here is a, just like the Almia Castle, we are given a little maze to go through. What's the problem with this one? Oh, nothing but the giant sand balls that are shooting out of the thing. So, the thing is here. You have to go through the sand, but not get hit by the sand ball. So once the sand ball goes through, we're going to go down. Like that. Not to mention, sometimes it's a blind jump there. 
And unfortunately, I need to be very precise with this. And I also have to remember when to say balls come in. And not to be that close to certain areas. So for example, there's that. That sand ball can... That was almost close. Yeah. And these will do damage to ya. So it's a mixture of Almia Castle and the Boil Volcano. Wait. Okay, good. No, 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 no! I'll meet you back over there. Okay, so we're back to this point, and this time we're going to anal analyze when the sand ball is hitting. So if it hits there... There we go. Now we're... Okay, that was close. Anything else? Okay, there is that. And we also have to figure out what the heck we're aiming for. I think I know what we're aiming for. Okay, so we're back to this area. So I'm gonna wait for that sand ball to go through and that sand ball. Actually, it would probably be better if we wait for that sand ball because that's gonna be more of the interrupting. Okay, there we go. So now we just have to travel upwards and take an account for both sand balls here. And. There we go. Luckily we do get that space there. So once it get past us, like that. Now we just have to watch out for this last one right here. And then, there we go. If you're playing, oh, there we go, Okay, I'm gonna just gonna run. Constantly running, hi, Bronzong. There's a hole here, don't use it. Uh, no. I don't want to use Magneton. So, if you are playing this on the Wii U, I would recommend you doing some checkpoints. Driplim, get over here. To be honest, this, just seeing Driplim is being an easy capture right now is right now good for me. Heck, those bronze... Those Bronzongs and Bronzors would actually be an easy capture as well. So let's see what happens when we fly up. Thank you, Driftlim. And let's see what happens when we fly down. Okay, so we have Keef's partner Pokemon, but where? Down there. Now here's the problem I have with this one. We have to take these leaves and choose the right ones to jump on. Oh, hi Victory Bell, how you doing? I haven't seen you since the oil factory. So we'll jump over there. Oh, we almost got into a battle of Ariados. So nothing there. So far this is not much of a maze, but more or less yeah, so we have to pick the right one. The wrong one will send us somewhere else. So I'm going to say it's this one. I was incorrect, but let's see what's in this room. Oh, we are going to need ya. I know for a fact we're going to need ya. Okay. If you do have dark type Pokemon, it does take care of these sand puddles. But otherwise, it looks like that's all Sand Slash is doing. Also, I realize I'm being an idiot and not capturing more Pokemon. Sand Slash. It hurls lumps of sand to attack. It is part of the ground group. Bokeh ground. Field move, tunnel one. Wait, but Sand True had tunnel one. Are you telling me there's a Pokemon that actually has Tunnel 2? Oh well. So this will take us back over here. We take this to go over way over there. I don't know what... 
All right, we have that. Sasslash, if you could be so kind to figure out what the heck this leads to. Some springy grass emerged from beneath the sand. So, obviously this is going to send us to the back, so. And that will take us there, and that will also take us to the back. We got more of this dungeon almost cleared out. And hi, clay dolls, as I... I'm sorry, I'm, I need to capture those clay dolls. Okay, clay doll. Oh, wow. I seriously have no idea what this clay doll does now, and I don't want to capture it anymore. Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't want to capture that clay doll anymore. I'd rather just get another magneton. That's what I would rather do. I would rather get another magneton. Yeah. Magneton seems a lot more of a better choice. We do have Piffla for an offensive move, and it's a time consumption is very good to use. So, let's just keep on going forward. Or be on the nose! Uh, I will say this, since we're actually on the nose of Hippowdon Temple, we're practically halfway through it. So, next time on Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, we'll be continuing on through Hippowdon Temple and trying to find the Yellow Gem.